I'm David Armitage, um, as a trainee biomedical scientist in microbiology. Um, my job centres around looking for infectious diseases um, and the causes of it. So that could be from things like a wound infection to food poisoning to septicemia. So we use um, biochemical tests or manual tests to find out what that cause is. Um, as the trainee, obviously, I have to learn from experienced BMS, uh, biomedical scientists and uh, I have to take part in uh, going to university. I've worked for the NHS for 13 years, uh, three of which as is as the trainee biomedical scientist. Uh, so to have this job, you need to have two GCSEs. Uh, you also have to have um, an A-level in a scientific subject, preferably chemistry or be studying a relevant qualification. So for instance, my route through has involved taking part in a foundation degree course. I think my favourite part about working for the NHS is probably feeling part of a team that's there to help people, patients on the wards or at GP surgeries. So I think I see myself as a bit of a cog in a machine and I think that the NHS is a fantastic model of healthcare. I think the hardest part is probably that it's ever evolving. So as we've seen with COVID, you need to be able to react to things at, sh at very short notice. No day is ever the same. So it has its challenges and, and you sort of need to be ready for that, I think. Um, I just find the job incredibly interesting um, and there's often something uh, new to discover. Um, in, in, in trying to find the cause of a, an infectious disease. Uh, so sometimes you have to sort of play the detective, which is quite good. So, um, and it's also very rewarding when you found that answer that they're able to treat the patient. I would say to do your research uh, into the various pathways that exist into that career. So if you're going to go down the university route, uh, make sure your degree is accredited. Um, uh, if if there, there are other pathways through which don't necessarily involve university in the first instance, so you could get a job in a support role um, in, in a lab and follow it through that way, but eventually you will always end up uh, needing to do either an apprenticeship or go to university. So yeah, just do your research. It's intriguing. Thanks for watching.